Hello and welcome. In this short guide I want to show you how to kill Uber Lilith because I still see people with decent gear, even better than mine, struggling on her because they never learned her mechanics. I know it's a chaotic fight, some would call it even bad boss design, but there are some little tricks that you'd want to know about to kill her easily. In this first attempt I want to show you how to not do it in phase 1, which leads up to a nearly unavoidable death in phase 2. Also the first phase is still bugged sometimes, so she jumps for infinity and never transitions into phase 2. I have a video about that uber lilith god mode bug also, so you can go and watch it after this one. But now let's get through the first fight together. My first tip is here that you want to have a decent boss build, so that you can eat up her HP super fast. As you can see I am playing a speed farm whirlwind barb build, but that one's also ok for me. If you struggle on her, you want to make sure to be able to basically 4 or 5 shot her. It's a little bit of a cheese of course, but this fight is so annoying that nobody will blame you for that one. But if you want to learn and practice her mechanics, you should go in with a normal character to really get a feeling for her attack patterns. I want to very fast sum up the most important attack patterns for you and show you well executed examples in my second attempt to counter her. As you may already know, she has three main attacks which people have problems with. The triple wave spawnings, the lunging attack with waves on the side, you know what I mean, the one with the triangle shape, and the big solo wave. These are her main attacks that you want to learn to avoid consistently. Just watch and notice where I am going to position myself every time she jumps into the air. Did you saw it? It's always the down left or right corner of the arena, right at the edge. There you want to stay every time she jumps away, never stay in the middle. Reason why is from this position down there you can easily avoid her triangle attack just by outrunning it, which is not possible when you stay in the middle of the arena. The triple wave spawns are also easy to outrun. Just stay behind the middle spawn, follow its path and the moment you cross the side waves run behind those in a little kind of circle movement. This is important because there is a follow up wave in the middle which you want to avoid like this. The last one, the big solo wave where she jumps backwards and spawns a huge needle wall towards you is easy to avoid if there is room behind her. So you try to get behind her very fast. If you can't, at this point you must use your defensive to avoid the big wave which will most likely cover the whole arena, depending on your position. But this attack is her rarest one, so don't worry about it too much. I hope you noticed something in my first bad example attempt. Not only did I play like a hardcore noob there half of the time, but I also stacked up 7 debuffs by doing so. You want to transition into phase 2 with as little as possible of those debuffs, optimally with zero. Reason why is that every hit from her in phase 2 will otherwise do massively more damage. If you stack up 5 or more of those debuffs, you can be sure to get one shotted by nearly everything, especially the infamous shadow souls that we are talking about now. These are the biggest source of pain in phase 2 and the reason why most people are not able to ultimately kill her in this phase. But it is not that hard, I guarantee you. Just watch our moving patterns here and see how you need to run to avoid those souls. There is no other way round. You need to get good here with your movement patterns and position yourself correctly to get her through the scripted mechanics. Of course, your mobility skills or a good amount of movement speed will help you out here and make it easier for you to outrun those annoying souls. Anything between 150 to 170 percent movement speed will be perfectly fine here, so you don't need to waste your evade for outrunnings and can keep them for potential dodges. Did you notice how you want to always make a big circle around the arena and then wait a little bit at the corner where she spawns next to then damage her some and run from the platform right before it explodes. That is the hardest thing to do in this fight and to get through consistently. And yes, I also died a lot while learning this. So don't give it up, you have to work on your timings here and get a feeling for the patterns. After you mastered it, this fight will be a park in the garden for you, so don't give it up. I am pretty sure 
you can also do this by yourself. So that was it with my short live guide. If it helped you out make sure to give this video a like so that it will get spread by the YouTube algorithm and help other struggling players or even new players. Also do you remember when I talked about her god mode bug at the beginning of this video? That bug is still not fixed and if you are curious of what I'm talking about click this video next to see what I mean. See you there.